Hello everybody, my name is Faithodas. Welcome to this video and to this channel if this is the first time ever. If this is the case, remember, if you like the content of this uh, channel anyway, remember to subscribe to this channel. We have thousands of Titan Quest videos already and more is uh, to come, especially with Titan Quest 2 in the future. Now, we are here with this high level build in uh, the Eternal Embers DLC act, the Zeus's Disciple, and my telephone is ringing. Okay, my telephone was ringing, my call is over now. We are here with this build to go and explore this dungeon down there and see if we will be lucky enough to get uh, something good to drop. I'm talking about, of course, legendary items or even some uh, very high level, uh, high quality green items as well, why not? By the way, this uh, smoke effect, the storm effect you saw was from uh, the skill uh, Thunderstorm of this artifact. This is the artifact of Zeus. Uh, this build is the disciple of Zeus. So naturally the build is using the artifact. Oh! Okay. One legendary. Horus Wisdom uh, weapon. This weapon belongs to Eternal Embers DLC. It comes with this DLC. By the way, I saw that weapon and I just remembered that uh, we have some news about Diablo 4 with uh, Blizzard's announcements. They are going to improve the itemization of Diablo 4 and they will make it much much better now. <clears throat> if you guys know anything about that, let me know in the comments below. If you care about Diablo 4 and what not, or maybe not, who knows. And what do you think about better itemization in that game? That sounds very very interesting to me and I think that I will try the PTR of Diablo 4 Season 4 uh, in about a couple of weeks I think it starts. I don't remember exactly when. But yeah, talking about itemization, Eternal Embers DLC comes with many powerful weapons. Add many new items uh, altogether. Rare items, new affixes, legendaries. Monster in frequency like this one. That guy was sleeping in the sarcophagus and I woke, he, I woke him up, probably. Okay, let me see. Uh, we started there. Okay, a portal. A uh, fountain, not a portal, Rebirth Fountain. Uh, that is a ring, probably. You know, some of these dungeons of Eternal Ebersacht have secret passages, of, uh, especially of Egypt, the tombs, 
like uh, this one, Abydos Crypts, the Burial Vaults and others. I can see a very very awesome legendary amulet on the floor. Myrmidon's Pendant. And it has plus 48% physical damage. One of the highest numbers you can get, if not the highest number. Awesome. So, as I was saying, you have to keep an eye out for uh, uh, walls that you can break down, because this is how you get to the secret passages. By clicking on uh, crumbling walls. Uh, let's go that way. The game sometimes uh, freezes like this. This is a natural thing for this game, because of the game engine it is outdated, so... You really shouldn't be... Oh, they killed me. You shouldn't be worried about this thing if it happens to you, and uh, even if you have a super extremely powerful PC. Because this is happening due to the, the game engine limitations, it is not... Really, your PC cannot really fix it. No matter if you have the most expensive PC on the planet. Let's go this way. Sarcophagus. That was a short sarcophagus. So. As we can see here, for example, this is a secret passage. There is nothing there. But still the secret passage exists. But before we go there, let's go this way to explore the whole area of this map. Now we can go this way, but first I want to go in the secret passage. Okay. Yeah. 
So, it turns out the secret passage is just a room. This one. Then we have uh, this way to go to, but I will not go there yet. First I want to go down to the other area. Let's go down there. This is a dead end. Let's go to the left side. Bad luck that my storm didn't hit this uh, enemy. But anyway, at least it killed uh, the other enemies. One more mage. These mages here, they become very, very dangerous when they are all many together. Sometimes you can meet packs of this specific type of animal together, four, five uh, mages at the same time, attacking you with their projectiles and killing you. They can be very dangerous. More gold, more gold. Okay, now let's go to that room first to see if there is something here. Yeah, there is something. But nothing uh, actually good in reality.
Yeah, we have many projectile users in that area now. A legendary is on the floor, scale of the black dragon, this is a shield. Okay. One sarcophagus. Nothing good inside, only two health potions. Okay, I don't mind. Hey, I cannot go there. Mountaineer's robe. There is another place to go down to, but first I want to explore this area of the map. Can I go there? No. How can... Ah, this way. There is a corridor... Oh, no! It is a dead end! I will have to run all the way back. No, I'm going down and then I'll come back here. But what I want to do now is to avoid using... Eh, uh, it used the, the, uh, the fountain. Then let's go this way first over the bridge. Okay, the potion. There are some very, very huge dungeons in uh, this expansion, Eternal Embers. This enemy was shooting uh, at my battle standard. Nothing good, 
Let's go that way. Dying. Nope, not not yet. More enemies are coming out. Why all these enemies inside the sarcophagus? Did they have an orgy? What the hell? Maybe it is, maybe. Potion of service. Uh, this is a dead end. This is how you fight this chest, if you are here and you look at this chest, from uh, that place. Back into the dungeon. Rob of Sanctuary. Okay. So we have explored. No, we have uh, that area to go to. Let's go. Yeah, okay. Your inventory is full. You can't hold anymore. So, this build is uh, great if you like melee builds and if uh, you want to farm uh, for uh, gold. It looks like we have explored this whole uh, floor of the dungeon. So we are here, here is a river fader. Instead of running all the way from here to here, we click reset player button. 
It teleports us to the latest uh, Rebirth Faden that we have activated and we go back up because uh, we have more places to explore here. Down there. So we have to go all the way back. Uh, we don't have anything there. I have to go this way, but I have to go all that way. Shrine of XP Athena's Mirror Shield Okay I don't need this item, I have it in my collection But maybe Can I pick it up to sell it? Oh, what is that? Nice item, pick up this one to sell it uh, To make some gold One more legendary, this is a stuff. I don't think that I have enough space to pick up a stuff. But also I don't need it. It is an item which I already have in my collection. It is one of the old items, it doesn't come with eternal embers, do you see? Potion of speed. This potion is awesome. So, we are done also with this floor. Now we have to go to the upper floor. But how do we go there? This uh, staircase. Now that we are here, we have to go this way. We are exploring the full dungeon of Abydos Scripts for all beginners to be able to see how to go through the dungeon and also in general. Nothing in this room, just a chest. Okay, no secret passages here. So now we go this way. Ah, and there is this thing which you click on to exit this dungeon. And we are out of the woods. Nope, out of the dungeon. So, this was the Abydos Crypts dungeon. We did it. 
I don't think that I have missed any secret passages. We picked up one or two. And this is it for you guys. If you want to go through this dungeon, how you can go through that dungeon, you can watch this video if you want and go through it. Thanks for watching the video. Remember to like the video if you like the video. Hit the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe, uh, follow on Twitch. And I uh, will see you very soon with many more videos and live streams of Titan Quest and other games as well. So, have a super great day.